how is it that this course is going to help me as a home sewer if I'm not even taking the course? Well, here's exactly how. So there's a new pattern making course on the street and it is literally a game changer for all home sewers. I truly believe that this course is going to positively affect the entire sewing community. Even if you don't personally participate in the course, you get to reap the rewards and I'm so excited to share with you all of the details. I just finished taking the Confident Pattern Making and Grading course by Victoria from Arbache Studios and I'm simultaneously so proud and so sad. In the past 12 weeks, I've learned skills that I get to take with me for the rest of my life, and it's actually changed the trajectory of my career. I'm wildly proud of what I've accomplished and what I've learned, and later in this video, I'm gonna get into what those things exactly are. Now, along with all of that excitement, also comes so much sadness because my time in this course is coming to an end. The course is really personable, and there are three optional group calls each week that all of the students can come together, ask questions, see each other's projects. It's super, super cool. I've been able to be part of this small little community of creators that's been constantly getting together and encouraging each other. And because I'm at the end of this course, I won't be able to be on those weekly group calls anymore, and that's honestly pretty sad. I did actually gain friends during this time, so I can reach out to them, but it just won't be in the same context. I'm also really thankful because the course material is forever, which means that even after the 12 weeks, I can continue to go back to it and learn from it. I also know that Victoria is planning to continuously add material to the course, so I won't be missing out on any future updates. All Alright, so now that I've told you a little bit about my overall feelings, let me answer the big question. How is it that this course is going to help me as a home sewer if I'm not even taking the course? Well, here's exactly how. Not only is this course actively helping create more indie sewing patterns, but it's also pushing out more information into the world about how to create an inclusive size range. That means that there will be more access to inclusive patterns for everyone, and there will be more people out in the world who have the skills to create an inclusive pattern. Ultimately, the more knowledge there is about fitting for all bodies, the better off our entire community is. Now, attaining the skills to become an inclusive designer actually isn't as easy as you might think or isn't as easy as it should be. There are loads and loads of stories out there of people who went to a four-year college, got a degree in fashion design, and came out not understanding how to fit clothes for real human bodies. Honestly, if I were personally in that position, I would be absolutely devastated. Before taking Victoria's course, I was super lost on how to grade sizes, and I was even more lost on how to grade sizes into an inclusive size range. Fortunately, Victoria is a really good teacher and she teaches in a super digestible way. Now, in addition to inclusivity, I wanna talk about other factors that set this course apart from other options that are out there. Let's first compare it to fashion school, which we've already established may or may not actually give you the skills that you want to learn. Now, I live in the US, which you may know is notorious for charging insane rates for education. If I decided that I wanted to attend the nearest fashion school to me, which is the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandise, the average attendance cost, including financial aid, is $40,000 a year. That's literally $160,000 for a four-year degree where I may or may not learn how to grade patterns for an inclusive size range. Now, I don't know about you, but that feels absolutely unreasonable to me. Not only does the Confident Pattern Making and Grading course not take four years to attain, but it also most certainly does not cost $160,000. In just 12 weeks, I learned all of the necessary foundational skills to make and grade PDF sewing patterns so that I can sell them online to you. In fact, I'm currently working on my first ever sewing pattern that I'm planning to release to you. They're called the tapioca trousers and I am so, so proud of them. Right now, they're in the pattern testing process where I basically sent the design to a handful of creators. They're making the pattern in their size and then they're giving me feedback on both the instructions and the fit of the garment. Once I receive all that feedback, I'm going to adjust accordingly and then I'll be selling the pattern. I've made a few different renditions of the pattern, so let me go ahead and grab them and show them to you. Okay, here is rendition number one. I basically took my basic pant block, which I created in the course with my personal measurements, and then I manipulated it to create this pattern on Adobe Illustrator. I then printed and tiled the pattern and I created this wearable wall, which was actually so spot on. I was wildly impressed. I can't believe that I was able to take the design that I had in my mind and put it onto paper and literally get it right like nearly first try. Now to be fair, I did need to make tweaks to the pattern and the pants that I'm wearing right now are actually the second rendition. So here's what they look like on. Basically what I changed from the first wall to the second wall was the curve in this booty area, but I ended up finding out that that wasn't the adjustment that I wanted to make. And so 
let me show you the third and final rendition. And that is these lovely and luxurious babies. They are my pride and joy. I am so proud of them. They fit so, so well. They're wide and voluminous. They perfectly kiss the floor. They have a curved waistband, which is actually what I changed from the first and second renditions to this third rendition, which means it fits around the waist super, super well. It also has really, really generous ease throughout the crotch area, which means that they're very, very comfortable to wear. Honestly, everything about it is amazing and I am over the moon with how they turned out. Now while the actual process of making a sewing pattern is time consuming because you have to make the design, create the design, tile it together, do all the renditions before you have your final product, the part that I actually found that was the most time consuming is actually creating the instructions. Typing out the instructions isn't so hard but what is really time consuming is creating the illustrations. Basically you want the words to be easily digestible so you pair them with a picture that represents what you're trying to get across through your words. While actually creating the illustrations wasn't a specific module in the course, it is something that I wanted to learn and so I basically just asked Victoria about it and she told me all that I needed to know in order to get started. And that brings me to my next point that this entire course is very very personable. Pretty much all of the course material surrounds your personal projects. Whether that's making something for yourself, making something for everyone out in the sewing community, making something for your husband or your child, whatever it may be, you're allowed to make it and Victoria helps you get to a point where you can. She literally hasn't shot down any ideas from other people in the course, even if the personal project they want to work on is extremely complex. And honestly, in my opinion, it's better to pick a complex pattern over a simple pattern because simple patterns are kind of easy to make in the grand scheme of things. And while I had access to Victoria over the last 12 weeks, I wanted to make sure that I was really, really challenging myself and learning as much from her as possible. I do feel like I was able to accomplish that, which is absolutely amazing. And I couldn't have done it if this was only an online and pre-recorded course. From the perspective of a course creator, it is a lot less effort to just pre-record your videos and put them out into the world and continue to make money on them without actually having to hold someone's hand through the process. That's kind of like how YouTube is. I can create a video, give as much information as possible, but if you have any questions along the way, there's not really a guarantee that the person behind the camera is going to be readily available to help you. However, this course is completely different and I've actually had access to Victoria for the entire 12 weeks, literally every single day. There's a Discord group where we can ask her questions directly. A lot of the time she sends us video feedback so you can see what she's doing on her computer screen and she talks you through the entire process. Or what's even better is that you can hop on literally all of the group calls which happen three times a week and ask her any questions you want. It's super neat too because you can actually share your screen with her and she'll walk you through all of the steps that you need to do in Illustrator as you're actively doing them and all of these video calls are recorded so you can go back and look at them later. I've personally found this is a super super helpful way to grow and if you don't have any questions and you didn't attend the video call you can go back and watch it later so that you can see what other students are going through and learn from their projects. Okay speaking of projects let me grab the rest of the projects that I worked on in the past 12 weeks so you can kind of get a taste of what's attainable during these 12 weeks. Okay so the very first personal pattern that I worked on was a chore coat. I'll go ahead and pop inspiration pictures on the screen for you so you can kind of get an idea of what I was going for. This coat was my first wearable twall which I didn't actually end up finishing because I made it out of a material that I didn't love and I'm not gonna wear it. Let me see if I can put it on over these big poofy sleeves. <laughs> okay, it goes. So there are a lot of details that I like about it. Rather than having a seam at the bottom of the arm, I actually put a seam on top, which I thought was like a fun, interesting detail that I'd never seen before. I also split up the bodice into different pieces. So basically there's a seam about three fourths of the way down and it goes all the way around to the back. And then on the back, there's also a seam down the middle. If you look closely, you can see all of the top stitching details, which I really, really like, but there was something about this that just wasn't perfect to me. I think it has to do with how big the proportions are. So I did decide to change it and let me show you what my second wearable twall looks like. This is wearable twall number two. It is made out of the exact same material as my last twall of the trouser pattern that I showed you and I absolutely love this material and this jacket. I've worn it so much since making it like literally last week and I can't wait to eventually share this pattern with you guys. So for this version I cropped it to that three-fourths length and I also changed the design of the collar and I lengthened the sleeve so that you could cuff it up. I also completely omitted the front pockets because 
because I think it looks nice this way. And I added these heavy duty snap buttons, which are so, so nice. I personally think it looks a really nice button all the way up. And I love the proportions of this with the extra long sleeves and the cropped body. I do think I'm going to change the collar design again, but overall I'm very, very happy with this version. Okay, now let me move on to the next pattern that I created during the course. So next on the list is a pair of jean shorts. I'll post pictures again of my inspiration for these shorts, but basically I really, really wanted to challenge myself to make what some people would consider hard pants. Jeans in general just have so many aspects to them. Like the back yoke, for example, the pocket style, the hardware, the zipper fly. There's so, so much involved in it. And I knew that if I wanted to tackle this pattern, it would definitely be better to do it while Victoria was still there to hold my hand. And these babies are the shorts that I came up with. They've got all of those classic details like the coin pocket, the back yoke, all of the nice hardware. I also did a curved waistband on these. And overall, I'm pretty happy. I didn't get the fit quite right on this version. And I did decide that I wanted to move on to other projects that I was more excited about at the time, but I did get all of the necessary foundational pieces to create this pattern, and now I just need to adjust accordingly, which I do plan to do on my own time, but right now I'm obviously focusing on my trouser pattern, and the thing I'm focusing on next is actually the shirt that I'm wearing right now. Before taking the course, I did make a lot of my own designs, but it was very much a fake it till you make it ordeal, and I didn't know what I was doing at all. This top is one of those fake it till you make it designs that I made back in the day, and I actually really, really like it, but I decided to go back and perfect the design so that not only will it fit me better, but then I can also grade it into a full size range and it'll fit other people as well. I changed up the sleeve on this version from my original version and let me go ahead and grab it so you can see what that one looks like. Okay, so this one is version number one, which I made probably like two years ago at this point, and the sleeves are nice and poofy and have elastic through the edge. It's pretty much the exact same shirt made out of different material with different sleeves. Now that I know so much more about how to make patterns, I can see how ill-fitting this top actually is. Like the sleeves are just way too long. They don't sit exactly where I want them to around the wrist. The side seam doesn't fall where it should. The shoulder seams are kind of funny and there's like some excess fabric in here. Also, if I don't tie the knot super tight, you can see straight through, which is not the goal. So basically there are just a handful of fit issues. They're relatively minor and this is absolutely still wearable, but now I know how to design patterns that actually fit. So I went back and I reworked the design and this baby, is what I got from that. This is wearable to fall number one after learning all of the new skills from the pattern making course, and it fits so much better. It features a bust art, which helps keep the girls in. It also has a wide sleeve instead of the poofy sleeve, but that could easily be changed by just adding elastic through the cuff. This version also has the knot sitting differently. Right now, the knot sits lower than my sternum, and in this version, it sits exactly at my sternum, which I think actually looks really nice. The only thing that I'm planning to update about the pattern is around the arm side. I just found that it was a little bit tighter than I wanted, so I'm gonna add some ease. I'm basically simultaneously working on this crop top pattern as I'm working on my trouser pattern, and then once the trouser pattern is done, I'll focus fully on the crop top pattern, which hopefully will be released to you relatively soon here. Now, those are all the patterns that I've been investing my heart and soul into over the past 12 weeks, but as you can tell, I have learned so, so much about pattern making and fitting, and I've already graded my trouser pattern into a full size range. I'm just so, so over the moon about all of the skills that I've learned. The fact that all of that was attainable in just 12 weeks at an attainable price point is kind of mind-blowing to me. There are also lots of other students taking the course right now, and I've been able to see all of their amazing designs come to life, some of which I think will actually just be for personal use, but a lot of students do want to create their designs in a full size range and then offer them to the sewing community. I'm honestly so thankful to Victoria for creating this course because that means that the entire sewing community is going to have access to so so many more inclusive patterns. Now, if you want to see my entire experience throughout the course, I did actually vlog every single week. So you have 12 weeks worth of videos to go binge and I will put them on the screen for you right now. Thank you so, so much for being here. I really appreciate you and I will see you in the next one.